Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Magraphis. If you are new here, consider subscribing and then click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to design a birthday flyer with PZL app. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to change the size, the height to one six, and then I'll delete this. So I'm going to change my background color to this gradient color here. So you can get the gradient color by using this. Look at how I get the gradient color. So you can. Can change this color to this to this color you can type this type this and you get the same color i use here and this one is white this one is color white and then you do the gradient like just like this and you get this so after that i'll come to my import to my download where i save this image so i'm going to drop the link of all this uh, image and background i use in the, in the the description box so you can download it and use it for your design so i'm going to um, increase the size to 100 and then and then bring it to this side and, I, and then i will centralize it so after that i'm going to lock it i'll lock it just like this okay so then i come to my uh, font to my test i mean and type happy and then change the color to color black to a dark black here and then come to my font and then type the name of the font I want to use is autograph. So I'm going to drop the link of the fonts. I'm going to search for it here. And then increase the size just like this. And then bring it here. So I'm going to centralize it like this. And then I'll take it out just like this. So after that, I'll come to my I can copy this one again. Let me copy this and then click on edit and then type birthday. That's this. So I'm going to break it like this, and then come to my font and then type um, the font I want to use for this is um, let me check Futura Extra Blackboard. So I'm going to centralize it. I'm going to centralize it just like this. With the um, align to centralize and then I'm, I'm, I want to increase the size but before increasing the size let me first come to my line spacing and then change the line spacing to minus 49 then come to my size and increase the size okay this is too big so let's try this and then I'll centralize it like this So after that, I'll come to my line spacing and then take it up again because it has changed. So minus 87 will do and then come to my color and change the color to a dark blue just like this blue here. Okay, then click on to back. You take it to back, then I'll take it up just like this. And then let me try something. So then um i'll take this up a little bit so i think this is okay then centralize it i think this is okay i'm also going to lock the birthday font so it will not change so it will not be moving around and then um come to my imports i want to import this glow this glow effect background okay this is it i'll import this background and this um effect and then i'll change the color to this blue color here and then i'll click on to back then come to my uh, layer side and then take it take it so that it, it so that the um it, it will be on on the bed day you can see it here it's like an gradient effect on the bed day so i'm going to leave it like this and then i will also lock it and then click on this image this lady's image the celebrant image then come to my shadow enable the shadow then click I'm, I'm going to choose this blue color again okay I'll click on this um, you can see a uh, shadow there so I can decide to increase the shadow or leave it at that same size so I think I'm okay with that thing so that one is gone for that, that, that one that is for that then I'll come to my color filter 
I want to work on the image and then I'll come to the saturation and then I'm going to uh, reduce the saturation a little bit. You can see this is normal picture, but I want to reduce the saturation a little bit to this um, minus. Let me check minus minus seven is okay. Okay, I think that one is okay. And then come to my import to my import and then import. I think I save this at the gallery at my pixel app. I'm going to import this and then increase the size and then lock it so come to my test again and type september i think september is t will be there zero two and then to my font and then i'm using this um picture about italic font and then i'll bring it to this side and then centralize it and then change the color to color black I can now use my line spacing to, to just take it up. So that is for so if I like I want to reduce the size a little bit, it's too big. So that's for that. And lastly, click on this copy and then edit and then type Atima Graphics, design Atima Graphics. Okay, so I'm going to blink this here and then I will reduce the size of this. Increase it a little bit so I'll change the font to a light font, a light feature font. I think this is good, and then I'll bring it to this side. So, uh, after that, the last thing here is um, the this background. So, let me just look for the background because of our time. Okay, so I'm going to import this um, background here okay this is it i'm going to import it and then increase the size to 100 and then come to my color filter and then and then to this is to minus 80 minus 180 i mean and then click on to back like this just like this and then and then we click on to back so after that you are going to click on opacity choose an opacity to reduce it so i think 13 is okay you can see the difference when it's there and when it's not there so i think i like i like it there and i'll lock it so lastly i'm going to just import this uh, background but this one is not compulsory um for my pfcc app this one is not composite to put this uh, and then color filter i think color blue so i just want to Add something like a motion effect here. Is this one? This one is not really necessary there, but I'll just add it there. It's not. It's, I don't want it to show too much. I think this is now okay. So we are done with this uh, beautiful girl by the flyer. So thanks for watching. Can you can you subscribe to my YouTube channel and then click on the notification notification bell to, to get notified whenever I post a video. Thank you. See you in my next video.